Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. So what I do, what I wear, um, yeah, basically just my makeup routine. Um, I wear this look pretty much all the time. I wear it to school, I wear it when I go out. I wear this all the time. This is like my staple kind of makeup look. It's very rare that I kind of wear something else or I add something. And I find that this look is really kind of easy to do once you get the hang of it. Um, you can wear it to school because it's not, you know, very intense, but it still enhances your natural features and makes you look really nice and kind of awake. Um, and yeah, it's quite fast to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let's go into the tutorial. Alright guys, so you obviously want to start off with clean hands and after you make sure that your hands are clean, um, I use a blotting paper and the ones I use are these um, Catrice Mattifying Oil Control Papers. And yeah, basically you just take out a sheet of this and you blot your face. and you have all this oil left on it. Alright, so the next step for me is that to actually use a concealer and typically I would wear foundation but this year I've really kind of been trying to keep it as natural as possible to let my skin breathe and so the concealer palette I'll be using now is this Catrice um, concealer palette and the ones I'll be using are these two beige colors because none of them really match my um, skin tone but if I match them and mix them together then they go well with my skin. Now what I do is I actually take a sheet of tissue and I blot my face with it. So I don't press very much, I press quite lightly, but what this does is it makes sure that all the excess product that actually is going to uh, melt off of your face is going to be taken off so that your makeup stays on better. So then I go back in again with concealer, and they're both from MAC, and the first one I use is the Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. The second concealer I use is Studio Sculpt in NW15. And I basically just mix them together to get the desired color and I again go over all the problematic areas on my face. And then I go back with the tissue again and blot my face. Now I go back in with the concealer palette and I use it to cover up my dark circles. Then I use this flat foundation brush and I basically just blend out the concealer underneath my eyes. So now I use this Bobbi Brown Concealer Duo and the shade is in porcelain. And basically I just use this to go um, around the darkest area underneath my eyes and to really make sure that that's lit up and kind of it really takes the attention away from the darkness. And I go back in with the foundation brush and blend that out as well. Okay, so the next thing I use is this pencil liner, but I have no idea where it's from because everything has brushed off. And basically what I do with this is I tight line my upper lash line to kind of give an appearance of thicker lashes. Uh, but yeah, I look like I'm poking myself in the eye. I'm actually not. So yeah. So the next thing I do is I take this um, Black L'Oreal uh, liquid liner. And I use it to kind of dot out where I want my um, eyeliner to be. The reason I do that is because later I go in with another eyeliner which is waterproof. So it's really quite um, difficult to wash it off if I make a mistake. But by using this one, I'm able to really get the shape. And then with the next eyeliner, I just have to go over it and it looks great. Then I use this small eyeliner brush by MAC, um, which is number 210, and I use this uh, L'Oreal Gel Waterproof Liner in black, and I basically just go over the L'Oreal eyeliner. And with the eyeliner, I basically start off in the middle of my eye, then I bring it all the way down, then I go again to the beginning, to the inner corner of my eye, and I connect the two together. And then in the end, I do the tail. Then I use the Urban Decay Naked Palette and I mix 
the colors Creep and Hustle together to put them under my eye. I use the MAC 219 brush to do this. Then I use the color Sin and I highlight the inner corners of my eyes, my brow bone, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. Then I use an eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. I then use this Sephora Full Action Mascara and I really like it because the wand is really nice and long so it covers a lot of your lashes in one go. Then I use this brow pencil by Benefit in medium to fill in my eyebrows. I first use the spoolie that comes on the pencil to brush out my eyebrows and give them shape. And then I go in with the actual pencil and I fill them in. I then brush them out again to make sure that any harsh lines are removed. And then I use this Catrice Lash Slash Brow Designer Gel that just makes sure that your brows stay in place and that the um, brow pencil doesn't wash off. I then go in with a Hula Bronzer. And this small angular brush and I contour my nose. Basically what I do is I just draw two lines down the bridge of my nose and connect them at the bottom. Then use a fluffy blending brush by MAC to blend it all out and make sure that it looks natural. I then use this angular contouring brush by MAC and apply it to my cheekbones and around my temples to contour my face. Now it's time for powder and I use the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Pressed Powder and I use this fluffy brush to apply it. Finally I use the Havana Blush by Benefit and as you can see I've used the hell out of it and I use a stippling brush to apply it to my cheeks. And that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!